Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. <coughs> San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungso, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we gather around the table of the Eucharist this Sunday morning, allow our Lord Jesus Christ to give face to our prayers, to give face to our struggles, to our suffering. And we know that through the prayers of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Father will hear our petitions. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, 
O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, Creator and Ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy, grant that we may serve you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let that man confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The words of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I love the Lord because he has heard my voice in supplication, because he has inclined his ear to me the day I called. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. The cords of death encompassed me. The snares of the netherworld seized upon me. I fell into distress and sorrow, and I called upon the name of the Lord. O Lord, save my life. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. Glorious is the Lord and just. Yes, our God is merciful. The Lord keeps the little ones. I was brought low, and he saved me. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. For he has freed my soul from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling. I shall walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. A reading from the letter of St. James. What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? Can that faith save him? If a brother or sister has nothing to wear and has no food for the day, and one of you says to them, Go in peace, keep warm, and eat well. But you do not give them the necessities of the body. 
what good is it? So also faith of itself, if it does not have works, is dead. Indeed, someone might say, you have faith and I have works. Demonstrate your faith to me without works, and I will demonstrate my faith to you from my works. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples set out for the villages of Caesarea Philippi. Along the way, he asked his disciples, who do people say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others one of the prophets. And he asked them, But who do you say that I am? Peter said to him in reply, You are the Christ. Then he warned them not to tell anyone about him. He began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests and the scribes, and be killed and rise after three days. He spoke this openly. Then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. At this, he turned around and looking at his disciples, rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. He summoned the crowd with his disciples and said to them, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and that of the gospel will save it. Brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters, and uh, I want to thank the many of uh, the thousands of people who are watching our online Mass this morning. And uh, even though I cannot see you physically, and we cannot really see one another's faces, because we are not together in this church, and uh, there are masks that we are wearing, still, our Lord Jesus invites us today to see the importance of having a face. The importance of always giving a face. Because most of the time, when we do not see a face, then sometimes the events are not very much real for us. But when we associate already a face to that event or to that word, then everything becomes real. 
And so, I would like to focus my reflection this morning on God giving us a face of Jesus giving a face to our human experience. Let me begin with our first reading today from the prophecy, from the book of Isaiah. And in our first reading today, he is talking about the prophecy about the suffering servant. Isaiah was talking about the suffering of this servant of God. He was punched. He was bruised. The, the people spit upon his face. But let us see that in the first reading, the prophet Isaiah did not just speak about his suffering. The prophet Isaiah gave a face to that suffering servant. If you would notice in the first reading, yes, he described the suffering of the servant, but he said that servant has a face. Yes, the face of that servant is bruised. They punched him. They plucked his beard out. But he has a face. And that face, said the servant, I did not turn my cheek away from them. I gave my face to those who wanted to hurt me. But this bruised face, said the suffering servant, I also held high. He said in our first reading, I have set my face like flint. Ano ba yung flint? Bato. Yes, my face is bruised, but I held my face high. I held it like a rock because my confidence is in God. That is the face of the suffering servant. Bruised, but still standing firm with faith and trust in God. Sa unang pagbasa po ay nakita natin na binigyan ng Diyos ng mukha ang kanyang lingkod. At ang mukha ng lingkod na ito ay binugbog, puro pasa, puro dugo, dinuraan pa. Pero ang kanyang mukha, sabi ng lingkod, kahit bugbog na, ay nakatingala pa rin sapagkat ang kanyang tiwala ay nasa Panginoong Diyos na magliligtas sa kanya. How many of you see your face in that face of the suffering servant? Especially in our moment of this pandemic, in this time, many of us see our faces in the face of that suffering servant. When I was listening to the first reading, I can imagine the faces of many people bruised, hurt, but still standing up, facing up, facing their mission because of their trust in God. The other day, I saw uh, one post in social media about the face of a health worker or a nurse working in, uh, in a hospital. Kasi madalas nakikita po nating letrato nila ay yung nakasuot sila ng kanilang PPE, yung kanilang mga mask. 
And so we do not see their faces. But the other day, someone, a wife, the wife of that nurse, posted what his husband looked like upon coming home from work. And when I saw that face of that nurse, it was only that time that the word health worker had a face in my mind. It was like the face of the suffering servant. The face was bruised. May mga sugat na sa kakasuot ng PPE. Yung kanilang mga kamay ay nagbabalat na. Sa 12 to 15 hours, nasuot-suot nila yon sa pagod. And when they go home, they would sleep in the floor, on the floor. They would have few hours of sleep and then go back again to work to take care of the sick. Sabi ko sa sarili ko, laging laman ng homily ko to pray for our health workers. Pero nung nakita ko ang mukha ng isang health worker, bugbog sarado na. Doon ko pa lang talagang nakita ang katotohanan ng kanilang pagdurusa. How many of us see in the face of that suffering servant the faces of our healthcare workers, our own faces who suffer in this time? Thanks to God for giving a face to our sufferings. In our gospel passage today, we also hear Jesus giving a face to the title Christ. In their dialogue, Jesus was asking Peter, Who do you say that I am? And Peter replied to Jesus, You are the Christ. But then, Jesus gave a face to that title. Sabi mo, ako ang Kristo? You said that this is my title, the Christ? Then, I will give now a face to that title. The Christ must suffer greatly. He must be rejected by the elders and the chief priests and he will be killed. Natakot bigla si Pedro. Parang gusto na niyang umatras. And he rebuked Jesus. Parang napagalitan niya si Jesus. Ang sarapan naman ng sagot niya, Ikaw ang Kristo. Naniniwala akong ikaw ang Kristo. Pero sa pangalan lang pala, Nung binigyan na ng mukha ni Jesus ang Kristo na magdurusa, magbibigay ng kanyang sarili para sa kanyang pag-ibig sa Diyos at sa kapwa, pinagalitan siya ni Pedro. Who among you see your face in the face of Christ? You are persecuted, you are rejected, you are suffering because of goodness, but here comes another people berating you and rebuking you. Ikaw na nga ang gumagawa ng mabuti, ikaw pa ang sisigawan. Ikaw na nga ang nagbibigay ng sarili, halos mamatay ka na sa pagbibigay ng iyong sarili sa pagod, ikaw pa ang masama, ikaw pa ang pagagalitan, ikaw pa ang sisigawan. Who among you has also experienced this? Thank, thank you, Jesus, for giving a face to what we are undergoing. Thanks to Jesus for giving a face to our struggles at this time. 
And let us not forget that it is not only Jesus who had a face, it is not only goodness who has a face, Satan has a face. When Jesus told Peter, when Peter rebuked Jesus, Jesus told Peter, Get behind me, Satan. Remember, the devil has a face. Satan has a face. And it is not the face that we imagine. It is not just the face that we fear. Yung naiimagine natin na mukha ni Satanas, hindi lang yan ang mukha niya. When we think as human beings do and not as God does, then we, are the, we become the face of Satan. When we rebuke other people because of their goodness, we become the face of Satan. When we become corrupt, when we steal the money from the people to give to our own pockets, we become the face of Satan. Marami sa atin takot na takot sa multo. Takot na takot sa mga masasamang espiritu. Lahat binibili to exercise our homes, to exercise our offices, magpapabless ng bahay para daw mawala ang multo, mawala ang masamang espiritu. Pero sa mga korap, hindi tayo takot. Yan si Satanas. Kapag nagnakaw ka ng pera sa bayan, yan, yan ang mukha ni Satanas. Kapag hindi naging maayos ang pananalita ko sa kapwa ko, nagiging mukha ka ni Satanas. The devil has a face. It is not just imagined. It is not just in the drawings that we fear. Let us be careful we might become the face of Satan. Let us be careful with our words. Let us be careful with our actions. And lastly, in our second reading today, from the letter of St. James, we see that the Apostle James teach us that faith should have a face. And what is the face of faith? Good works. That is why the Apostle James in our second reading tells us that if you have faith, then you should see the face of your brothers and sisters who are hungry, who are sick, who are poor. It is important for the Christian who has faith in Jesus to see the face of our brothers and sisters in need. And when you perform good works to them, when you feed the hungry, when you take care of the sick, when you thank people who are taking care of the sick, then your faith becomes the face of Jesus. Kapag tayo, ang ating pananampalataya ay nagbubunsod sa atin, gumawa ng mabuti, tumulong sa kapwa, magpakain ng mga nagugutom, pasalamatan ng ating mga health workers, ikaw ay nagkakaroon ng mukha, mukha ni Jesus ang ating pananampalataya ay nagkakaroon ng mukha kung tayo ay marunong gumawa ng mabuti sa kapwa. My dear brothers and sisters, this Sunday, let us allow Jesus to give a face to what we are experiencing, to our struggles, to our sufferings, to words, to events, to ideas. Lagi nating sinasabi, ipagdasal ang health workers, 
ipagdasal ang mga may sakit, alam niyo po, lagyan ninyo ng mukha ang health worker. Lagyan ninyo ng mukha ang salitang may sakit, ang may COVID-19. Sabi nga ng marami sa akin, Father, iba pala, kapag ikaw na ang may COVID, iba pala kapag kapamilya mo na ang nagka-COVID, iba pala ang pakiramdam kapag malapit na sa'yo, kapag kamag-anak mo na, kapag kaibigan mo na ang namatay sa COVID-19, doon pa lang ako natatauhan, magpapabakuna na ako. Aalagaan ko na ang katawan ko. Hindi na ako magiging pasaway. Hindi na ako lalabas kung hindi kailangan. Magmamask na ako. Naku, doon pa lamang naiisip magpabakuna. So today, allow Jesus to give a face. Give a face to our words. Give a face to our events. Give a face to our experiences and struggles. Today, let us thank our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus, for giving a face to our sufferings and struggles. It may be a bruised face like your face. But it is still a face that we hold high because of your goodness, because of our trust in your love. Amen. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, on the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The Lord is gracious and just, a compassionate God who protects and saves His people. Let us pray to Him, trusting in the anointed Son He gave up for our salvation. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, that he may keep the Church in the faith of Peter. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our elected representatives, that they may respect the right to life of the unborn, the helpless, and the aged. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For consecrated, contemplative religious, that men and women may be called to share their lives of self-renunciation and penance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For members of our community who suffer, that they may know the Son of Man, who was destined to suffer grievously. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the eternal repose of the souls of the departed, that they may see the Redeemer who suffered for them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions, for the intentions offered in this Mass.
God of mercy and compassion, through the merits of our Savior, hear the prayers of your church, confessing with Peter our faith in Christ your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these, your servants' offerings that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like to thank all of you for joining us in this celebration of the Holy Eucharist. We also thank the many people who have continuously supported and helped the Manila Cathedral in one way or another. Maraming salamat po sa patuloy ninyong pagsubaybay, sa patuloy po ninyong pananalangin para sa aming ministry at sa inyong mga tulong na ipinapadala para sa Manila Cathedral, especially para po sa ating online ministry. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. And we pray that uh, this coming week, our Lord Jesus may always show His face to you. And let us also become the face of Jesus to others. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God always keep every adversity far from you and in His kindness pour out upon you the gifts of His blessing now and forever. Amen. May God keep your hearts attentive to His words that they may be filled with everlasting gladness now and forever. Amen. And so may you always understand what is good and right and be found ever hastening along in the path of God's commands now and forever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Ang tapat at laging tukon 